Hi everyone, welcome to Rachel Pickler Yoga. My name is Rachel. Today we are doing a full body yoga for flexibility practice. So I am going to ask that you have a strap of some kind that could be a towel, a long sock, um, a belt, a tie, anything that can help make your arms a little bit longer. And you're just gonna need a little bit of space to move. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do. And let's get started. So we're gonna begin laying down today. So you can just place your strap off to the side. And come all the way down onto your back. Send your legs out long as well. And your legs can be out, or your feet can be out nice and wide. Resting your arms at your sides. And we're just gonna turn our chin over towards the left shoulder. Nice and slow, just kinda let it roll over. Just kinda letting your body start to get heavy. And then with an inhale, just start to bring your chin back up facing the ceiling or the sky above you and let the shoulders relax. And then let your head just roll over to the right side. And I see you guys using an inhale, gently start to bring your chin back up. Pause here for a second. Let those shoulders get even heavier. And then gently letting your head turn back over to the left side. And then we're gonna pause here. So let the head fall over as far as it would like to go to that left side. And then we're gonna take our right hand and you're just gonna bring it, bring those fingertips to your forehead. And then we're just gonna start to gently encourage the head back. So it's like the back of your head wants to find your right shoulder, but our chin is still falling over to that left side. So just take this as far as you need to to feel a stretch of your neck and continue to let the chin fall to the left. So you can just gently pull the head back towards the right shoulder, starting to lift the chin, maybe shifting your gaze to whatever it is that's up above behind your head. And just gently encourage the chin to the left. Thanks you guys. And then when you see you kind of turn the head as much as you think you want to go, let the right arm come back to your side, palms facing down and just walk your fingertips towards your feet. Just gently pull the shoulders down a little bit and that might just deepen the stretch to the neck slightly. Feet nice and gentle here, nice and still. Nice, you guys. And then I do encourage you to actually bring both of your hands back towards your head and pick your head up to help bring the back of your head to the ground. Just kind of pick your head up, rotate it, and rest the back of your head down on your mat and your arms can come back down towards your sides if you'd like. And just take a second. If you're new to this neck stretch, it's kind of weird to figure out. And you might not find a very deep stretch, but once you play with it a few times and you try it out, ah, the stretch is there, I promise. So let's try the other side though. So the chin's gonna fall over towards the right as far as it wants to go. And if this feels good enough for you, you can always skip where we've gone on the other side, but feel free to play with it too, being nice and gentle, of course. And you're just gonna try to bring the back of your head towards the left shoulder now. The chin is still falling to the right side. And so maybe moving the head a little bit and then letting the chin fall back to the right. Maybe moving the head a little bit more. You might now be looking above your head, but you might not go that far. Just continue to let the chin fall to the right side. And once you've moved your head as much as you'd like, hands are coming back to the sides, palm facing down, and just walk the fingers towards the feet. And then 
you can relax for a moment. And just maybe opening the mouth a little bit to keep the jaw soft. Awesome, you guys. So again, just taking both of your hands to lift up your head. Sometimes the head gets kind of stuck on the mat. That's good. <laughs> Turn your head back and rest your head all the way down on the ground. Awesome, you guys. And just take a second here. Notice any sensations running through the neck, the upper shoulders. Take a breath. And you can also just start to find your strap. <laughs> So if you have a, something to use to make your arms longer, we're just going to walk our feet in, bending the knees, and let's bring our right foot up into the air so you can just place your strap right under your toes on the ball of your foot, sending your leg up into the air, straight up above. And if you want a little more, you can straighten the left leg or you can just keep it bent in. Or we're feeling this all through, well, it could be from the toes through the bottom of the foot, down the back of the heel, and all the way down towards that hip. But relax your shoulders. The strap just makes us, or allows us to relax the upper body more than when we don't use a strap. If you need a little extra here, just gently encourage your toes towards your forehead. And if you need a little less, you might have a bend through the knee. Just kind of play with it until you find that awesome stretch all the way through the back of the leg. Yeah. Okay, we're going to keep hanging onto our strap here. We're going to move this top leg though. So we're going to let it come out to the right side, but just a little bit. Think of it bringing it outside of the shoulder, but not all the way to the floor beside you. Kind of like maybe 45 degrees down. And then just think about lifting the foot, pulling the toes towards the top of your mat. And you can hang on. I like to hang on to both sides of my strap or whatever you're using and just the right hand and then you can grab onto the bottom of it if it's long enough with the left and just gently encourage the toes towards the top of the mat feeling this through the inner leg Nice job, you guys. And then we're just going to use an inhale to lift that right leg all the way back up through center, and if you haven't already straightened the left leg, I'm gonna ask that you straighten that left leg now, and we're just gonna pull this leg or let it fall across the body and over to the left side. So let's let it fall again, maybe 45 degrees. The right hip can lift a little bit if you want it to, or if it just does. And then let's just think about encouraging the toes towards the top of the mat. And if you feel like you're tipping over to that left side, just reach your right arm out for some support. Keep that right shoulder down. So maybe a little bit of a twist, but not a huge twist. Feeling this now through the outside of the leg, maybe all the way into the glute. Nice, you guys. And then using a big inhale, you're just going to let your leg come all the way back up. And then you can start to bend the knee. Take your strap off of your foot. Walk that left leg back in, right foot to the ground. Maybe do a little rock side to side. Just kind of massage that low back. And then we're going to switch so the left leg can come up. Starting with it just straight up in the air. Do whatever you want to do with your right leg for now. And just try to find the stretch all through the back of this lifted leg. And just relax for a moment. Hmm. 
Just finding your breath here. Enjoying the stretch. Awesome, you guys. And we're gonna let the leg fall out to the right side. Right side, I mean the left side. <laughs> To the inner leg first. So grab onto your strap, hold it tight, let the leg fall, maybe 45, maybe even less than 45, out to the side. And then gently encourage the toes up towards the top of the mat as much as you need to to find your inner leg. That nice stretch for the inner leg as well as the hamstring. Awesome, you guys, using an inhale, let that nice leg come all the way back up to the top. And then we're gonna let it fall to the right side now this time. So let it come maybe 45, the left hip can lift a little. And then just start to pull the toes towards the top of the mat. Maybe that left shoulder needs to be weighed down, just extending your left arm out to the side. And just notice where you feel this all through that left leg. Where are you getting the stretch? Awesome, you guys, using an inhale. Let's bring that leg all the way back up to the top. And then you can start to bend the knee. Take your strap off your foot. You can move it off to the side. We are done with the strap. Walking your feet in, doing a little rock side to side maybe. And then we're gonna take our left hand and just slide it under our back. So palm facing down, slide your hand just kind of under the side of your back. It doesn't have to come all the way under. Palm facing down though, and then you might stay here just laying flat on your back. Or you might start to let the knees fall over to the left side. Maybe keeping that right shoulder down. If you need more of a stretch to the left side though, start to lift the right shoulder up as well. Like you're trying to lay all the way onto your left side. But just go as far as you need to to feel that left shoulder. Be nice and gentle. Nice, you guys, and those of you that have nice open shoulders and you want to go just a little further, you can actually cross your legs. Cross that top leg over top of the bottom. And it's just going to let the knees get a little heavier. It's going to deepen the shoulder stretch, so if you don't need it, don't take it. Only going as far as you need to go. Awesome, you guys. If your legs are over to that left side, slowly lift them back up. Bring your feet to the ground. Slide your hand out from under your back. Take a shoulder roll if you need it, or maybe just be really still. That shoulder relax. Nice, you guys. And we're going to keep our arms out this time so you can actually extend that left arm out to the side. We're going to take a twist, so our knees are again falling over to that left side, so same thing, minus the shoulder. Keep the right shoulder down though, don't let it lift this time, just keep that shoulder down nice and heavy. If you want to cross your legs, you can bring that top leg over the bottom leg, take a nice twist here. And taking another breath before you start to move. Hmm. And then use a big inhale to let the knees come all the way back up. 
feet to the ground, maybe doing a little rock side to side, just kind of massaging the low back. And then we're gonna switch to that right shoulder. So you can take your hand, palm facing down, make sure the palm's facing down. Just slide it under your, your back a little bit. And then decide if you just need to stay flat on your back, you're already feeling this, you're gonna stay here. If the knees wanna fall a little bit over to that right side, you can let them fall. If you wanna lift the left shoulder, you can lift the left shoulder. And if you want to cross the top leg over the bottom leg, you can cross the legs. A whole lot of options. So just going as far as you need to, to get a nice shoulder stretch. Awesome, you guys. Use an inhale when you are ready. Bring the knees up. Move super slow here. Bring your hand out from under you. You can take a couple shoulder rolls or just be still for a moment. Maybe even rocking the knees side to side a little bit. We will start to set up the twist so you can reach that right arm out, even the left arm, and then let your knees come back over to that right side. Maybe cross the legs, maybe not, but let's keep the left shoulder down. Just breathing a little bit deeper. Move that tummy up and down with some big deep breath. Awesome, you guys, with a nice big inhale. Mm, let the knees come all the way back up, feet to the ground, low back to the ground, maybe doing a couple rocks side to side just to massage the low back. Just noticing how the shoulders feel. Let your shoulders be nice and heavy. And I said that we were done with our strap, but I want to do one last thing. So find your strap again. And you, may, you might not need it, but we're going to be bringing our knees towards the chest. And we'll keep our feet together and let the knees come out wide. So if you can grab onto your feet, you can just use your hands. But the strap is just going to come around the bottom of the feet Soles of the feet are going to be together, and knees are out wide, just a little reclined butterfly to get into those hips just a little more. And to relax the shoulders, the back of the head, just encouraging the feet towards you, towards your chest. Awesome job, you guys. And then you can slowly unstrap, unhook those feet. Let your knees just come back together for real. Now we are done with the strap. So you can move it off to the side. Your feet can find the floor and you can actually walk them all the way out. And just bring your arms to your sides. Let your palms face up. Taking a nice big inhale. And exhale. And just allow yourself to spend a few moments here in Shavasana before you carry on with your day. Finding some stillness. And 
I definitely encourage you to stay here for as long as you have time for. And until next time, namaste.